Hello everyone and welcome to my brand new let's play. You probably know what it is. You should know what it is because, you know, you guys voted for it. You guys wanted the, this let's play and you got it, okay? So we've got a very eerie start here at the beginning before the title screen which is going to come up now. Pokemon Pearl version. So, yeah, you guys wanted it and here it is. I'm excited to be doing this let's play. Um yeah, this is fourth generation. I just thought I'd go for Pearl after the Diamond, because that's random. Oh, hello. Who's this guy? The Pokemon Professor. <sighs> I wonder what he does. Uh, I mean, he could be doing anything. But he's trying to provide us with a tutorial, and we're experts. We don't need a tutorial. So yeah, for this bit, he wants us to touch a Pokeball on the bottom screen. So that's why you can't see the Pokeball, because there's nothing interesting going on in the bottom screen. In Pokemon White, there were a few interesting things on the bottom screen, but they weren't that good. But in this game, it's mostly on the top screen, so you're pretty much not missing out on anything when I just record the top screen. And you really get to the action, what's going down. And now we get to pick a gender, which is nice. I mean, when I was born, I didn't get to pick. I mean, I got a boy, and I'm happy with it, but. I also do like what <laughs> how he looks. He looks like. What a 90s kid would think a futuristic person would be like in the future, like his style with that crazy hat. I don't know what that is. Is that a flat cap or. Oh, yes, our friend. <sighs> I do like this guy. Yeah, we can pick a name for him like in any other game. We don't get a rival, we just get a friend. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. And <laughs> I, I don't know why, I just thought the name Al was funny. It just tickled me for some reason. I don't know why. So that's why he's called Al. I'm called Tom. He's called Al. Just Tom and Al. Just two good friends. Doing Pokemon stuff. So yeah, this this LP will be edited in the same way Pokemon White was. There's no editing in this part, but yeah, I will just fast forward certain bits if they get a bit boring. So, because some people upload a part every single day, but... I thought if I edit it down, I can only upload three parts a day and get or well, three parts a week and get away with it. So yeah, we have an exciting report here. But hold on, we're actually watching TV. So search for the red Gyarados. I thought that guy in second generation call it. I mean, should we give him a call and just say, hey, we want the red Gyarados. Let's have it. All right. So don't be so selfish. Unless he killed it. I didn't kill it. I can't. I call it back in Pokemon Silver. Oh, did he? Good old Al. So yeah, your mum is actually the most cold, not cold, but in all the other Pokemon games she's always like, I'm gonna miss you! No, here's some free stuff! Do you want me to save some money for you? But in this one she's just like, oh, you don't even have your own Pokemon. Oh, that sucks. God, everyone has a Pokemon and you're just rubbish. I bet she can't wait to see the back of you. And third... And yeah, this is a little twist. In this one, there's actually no Pokemon Lab in your starting town. Which I guess is kind of cool, but... Well, mixing it up. Not really mixing it up, because there's still a Pokemon Lab that you have to go visit. And... Oh, ow. He <laughs> he may, he might be likeable if he actually talked to you at all, rather than saying random stuff and running off. I think he's just always on sugar. Probably. That would be my guess, that... Or he's just ill. But let's go with the sugar thing. The sugar thing's, you know, could be cute. Yeah, I didn't talk to Al's mum. I've seen her loads of times. We don't get on. So yeah, we have to follow Al to try and find the Red Gyarados. I don't know if that storyline comes back, but I haven't seen it as of yet. Yeah, I did see the news report. No, I don't think that was a command, Al. No, we shouldn't go check our local lake. It wasn't a command search for the Red Gyarados. You know, it wasn't a plea to all peoples to unite to find this Red Gyarados. But of course we have to pay attention to Al. You know, his that friend. That friend who gets us into situations because he's curious about the world. You know the friend, I mean. Everyone had one back in school. And now we have to put up with his craziness. So sure, here's the lake he was talking about. And here's the Pokemon Professor, as everyone calls him. I think even his mum. His mum probably calls him that as well. Just, hey, are you, you know, 
Are you coming down for Christmas, Pokemon Professor? Or maybe Poke Prof. That'd be pretty cool. So yeah, this is Dawn and the Professor. I don't think it's actually said Dawn's name. Because everyone knows who the Pokemon Professor is, but we don't know who Dawn is. Now, he says, excuse me, let us pass, please. In England, where I'm from, they would just laugh in your face if you said that. Or they'd just think, what a... What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> There's no need to be that polite. You just say, excuse me. So we... See, over here we say, excuse, not excuse. You know, it's, it just saves time. But enough about my origins. Let's see what Owl has planned for us. I hope it's nothing, you know. I hope we don't get up to no good. Oh no, it's giant birds. Those birds are massive. I mean, I know they're, they're birds. Come on, I've seen birds. So yeah, this is a bit different, this opening. Uh, I mean, obviously they had to mix it up to make it interesting, but... Yeah, we've got the grass Pokemon. Sorry, the fire Pokemon. And we got the penguin Pokemon. Or the water Pokemon. And I know, guys, I always, I always pick the water Pokemon. I think I mentioned it in white, but yeah, I always pick the water one. Although in this game that's probably not the best choice. Either choice is good. So. so yeah, let's kill this level 2 Starly. Starly. Which, yeah, this intro is really different to the other generations. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Because I always liked fighting the rival. That was always, you know... I it was iconic. It was a classic. And they had to mess up the formula. You don't actually... I don't think... I'm not sure when you fight your rival, but... Well, obviously, I... You know, you do fight him, but he's not your rival, he's your friend. Oh, oh, how lovely for you. Whoa. See, all we want to do was search for a red Gyarados, and Owl's turned us into a feth, into a dirty thief. Oh, um, yeah, we kind of did use those Pokemon. I, I don't know what he's going to say, but I'm really sorry, but... Yeah, we stole them. And I like how she doesn't ask for them back. Why wouldn't she just say, "Can I have them back?" You know that would be cool. If you know, if someone steals something from you, you just say, "Can I have that back?" Unless it's a massive bull bloke with a knife, then you just say, "We're good, okay? You can have my pill pup. It's fine. <laughs> it's a, we're we're cool here. If you want my chimchar, you you have it, okay? We're friends." Was it chinchar? I don't know. I didn't like that fight. I think this is like the worst fire Pokemon in any of the generations, or as in the starter. I don't think it's actually that bad, it's just, I don't know, I just don't like the idea of having a chimp Pokemon as my starter. Maybe that's just me, but, and it's a bit too close to um, Sincere from, no, Panseer from the fifth generation, so I just couldn't pick it. Even if I wanted the fire Pokemon, I wouldn't have picked it. Maybe that's just me being weird. Because I don't know what I could evolve into. What would a chimp evolve into? Man? <laughs> Do you just turn into a fireman? Because, you know, that's how evolution works. I don't know if Charles Darwin is listening, but I'm sure he'll agree with me. If he wasn't dead, of course. So yeah, after robbing someone, we have to go back to your mum. So yeah, he, he probably is that guy. Well, here's the Pokemon Professor. Of course he's well known for his Pokemon studies. Get with the program, Mum. So, yeah, she was kind of nice there, but... Okay, she gives us the running shoes. I guess I'm warming to her. But she still seems the... The harshest one. Not really harsh, but, you know. The other ones are a lot nicer, your mums, in the games. They're always upset that you're leaving and they just want to help out, and she's just... Oh, my boy's already stealing stuff. Yeah, and now I was like, what do I do now? <laughs> so, I think Al's in here. He should be. Nope. Yeah, this is the... Okay, the problem with this intro is that it's quite unclear what you have to do. I know she just said go to Soundgen Town, but really, it's not... I wasn't too sure, and here's me having a look around the imaginative town that looks exactly like all the other towns in Pokemon games. Just yeah, it, it's really not that clear that you can just use your Pokemon and go through all the grass and go to the next town. I know she says you have to go to Sand Gem Town, but it's really not that clear. 
At this point in the game, I wasn't too sure I was going in the right direction. And maybe that's my fault. Yeah, we have a first world battle. Well, unless you include the first one. So yeah, we're gonna kill it. I think I kill it. I think I'm gonna take this one down. This Starly. Uh, I'm not gonna. In this part, I'm not gonna talk about what Pokemon you should pick at the beginning because this part really is just the intro, beginning of the game. So next part, I will discuss that. At this point, I'm just gonna murder this bird. I mean, it's a it's a long trip to Sound Gem. How how else am I gonna eat? I don't pack sandwiches because my mum hates me and she didn't make me any. So I am going to have to kill this bird with my penguin and eat it. It's the only way. Uh, so yeah, this is a battle. <laughs> a quick tutorial on Pokemon games if you're not 100%. You take turns to do hits and I use pound and every time you attack it, it loses HP until one of you faints and then you get some experience for defeating that Pokemon. It's that simple. Yeah, it's not that much. I don't know if anyone listening is new to Pokemon, but I'll be very surprised. If you are, that's okay, because, you know. Because I'm 19, so I'm obviously not new to Pokemon, but if you're younger than that, then. Although, this is my. If you are new to Pokemon, don't pick this generation as your first one. Or maybe you should. Maybe that'd be a good thing to do. Pick this one. No, no, it wouldn't be. I would say probably just pick the first generation. Just, just pick that one. So yeah, his owl, and off he goes. Why doesn't he just stay around for two seconds? I don't get it. I don't like him as a character <laughs> already. I don't like him because he doesn't talk to you. He just like shows up and then buggers off. And I don't like that. <laughs> I just don't like that sort of person. So yeah, here's the classic lab. There's always a good feeling in a Pokemon game at the beginning where you enter the lab and you talk to the old man or woman who's not really old if you're thinking of the fifth generation. So yeah, we finally get to nickname our Pilpup, Pilup, Piplup. <laughs> I will get that name right. I'm confused because there's a dog Pokemon called, um, I can't remember now because I've messed myself up, which is, it has a very sim similar name. So Piplup, there we go, Piplup. Although I won't be calling it Piplup from now on because I gave it a nickname. Which I don't think I actually show in this part, but that's okay. It's cool. But then here's Dawn. It's a much more likeable character than that mental case owl. He's just running all over the place. Sort of a marathon runner. So yeah, this is the classic introduction of the Pokemon games. Where the professor entrusts you he dec he wants you to explore the world, even though you're only 10 years old, I may add. So he gives you an expensive device, a Pokemon, and says, off you go. D don't get killed, or your mum will kill me. Although your mum in this generation will probably be like, so what? Did you get my running shoes back? They cost a lot of money. Um, yeah, we did. <laughs> okay. I'll sell those on eBay. Make a new son. Yeah, we've all, we've all heard this before. It's the same old, yeah, let's do this. Oh, so I, I guess she always has the same Pokemon, which is interesting. Although she picked the worst one, if you ask me. Yeah, that's kind of cool that she always has the same one, but then... I haven't seen her that much. I haven't played that much into the game, but... And yeah, I talk to these guys, because all the other ones, they always give you like a potion or something. But they didn't. I guess everyone hates you in this world. Although not really, because even though we stole from the professor, he was just like, that's fine. I mean, it's a good thing he was carrying around his Pokemon briefcase rather than, you know, his important files. So here's the tutorial, sort of. They brought this in in the second generation just to give you a summary of what's about, so. I mean, you can read, you know what's going on. You know, Pokemon Center, Pokemon Mart, they're in every city, so. Or town, I guess. Not the first town, though. They're never in the first town. The Pokemon Center in the first town is your mum, so. So, yeah, this has been the first part of Pokemon Pearl. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!